Hi guys, it's James. I'm doing another quick update of what I bought at Car Boot and at charity shops over the last um, kind of week or so. Um, didn't do too brilliant at the Car Boots yesterday. Um, the weather was bad on Friday, so whether that put people off on the Saturday, I don't know. But I'd say it was, just wasn't very good at all. Uh, but did quite well at the charity shop, so um, a quick, quick run through of what I've picked up and uh, hopefully um, see how they do. Uh, so I picked up one of these. Uh, you may not have seen one of these before. It's um, a Powerball. Um, so it's kind of a thing that you spin around and it's supposed to do exercise, basically, and the competitive, that kind of thing. Uh, that cost me a pound, and they go for about £10 or so. So that's something to keep a look out for. You may not have, have seen that kind of thing before. Um, a bit of media. These are from charity shops. So I got these two for a pound each. Um, these are for the uh, original PlayStation um, so yeah, Dancing Stage Party Edition and Dancing Stage, uh, what's that one, uh, Euro Mix. So pound each for those. Uh, I'll bundle those together and I'll probably get, not a huge amount, I'll probably get about £7 uh, for those. Um, you actually see the mats for those. It's one of those dancing games with the mats. You see the mats for those everywhere. So I'll, I'll try and pick up a mat. I'm sure I can get one for a couple of pounds and that'll really boost up the price. So you can get up to kind of £15, £20 the games and the map together so I'll, I'll keep an eye out for those um there's another store which, which is two for 50 pence and this is just i had to make up the, the second one for 50 pence so i just picked that up not really worth anything i'll take that to a car bit myself or we'll do whatever with that um i got bully on the playstation 2 um i think these are all a pound a pound each uh, that one goes for about four pound that's the um the Canis Cam Edition, so it's a, it's kind of a more premium edition of Bully on the PlayStation 2. Um, so like I say, probably four or five, maybe six pounds for, for that one. Um, Medal, of, Medal of Honor Frontline. Um, I haven't done really well on my media, <laughs> to be honest. So I thought I'd pick up a few, take a few uh, chances, a bit of a punt. But like I said, they're all only worth probably two or three pounds together. So whether I'll keep them and do a bundle with them or what I'll do. Uh, but that one again, like I say, two or three pounds, that's worth um, Call of Duty Finest Hour on the PlayStation 2, again, similar similar money for that. Um, the original SingStar, so again on its own it's probably only worth two three pound but I've got probably five or six other SingStars and not that one, which you may have seen on my previous video, so again I'll, I'll add, that, add that to those bundles and hopefully get decent money. Uh, SimCity 3000 UK edition, that was one of the ones two for, for 50 pence, so uh, that one's not bad, probably goes about five six pounds for, for that one. I uh, got Civilization uh, 3, that's the complete edition, so again that was one of the two for 50 pence. Um, that'll probably go for about three, four pounds, but I also picked up another Civilization in another charity shop, so Civil Civilization 4. Um, I can't say anything particular about that on there, but if you if you open it up, obviously you've got the, the game itself, but the, the manual for that is huge, you don't, I don't know if it's a special edition or it comes like that as standard, but... Like I say, it looks a bit better than just, just the box on its own, so I'll bundle those two together. I've seen somebody else sort of do the same, and that's gone for about for about £9, so I'll get some of the money for those two civilizations. Uh, this is from a, a car book the week before. I don't think I've shown you this one, though. This is a, a box set. Uh, it's a bit of a bollow for this one, so uh, it's Pippi, Pippi Long Stockings. Um, never heard of it myself to be honest, but I just picked these up because they're you know they're good good box sets, but it's an absolutely mint condition. I think only the, the first one's been read out of those. Um, RRP on that is uh, fifty two ninety. Um, now they're going for about twenty five thirty pounds because there's not a huge amount of them for sale. So um, whether I'll put that on Amazon or eBay, I'm not quite sure yet. But that's a really good seller. So if I get really good money for that, that probably cost me a pound one fifty at the most. That's what I normally pay for those. Uh, but any of those uh, box book sets are really, you know, tend to sell really well, and people sell them off pretty cheaply as well. So they they certainly something to keep an eye out. Um, picked up a few teddies. You may have seen the the Winnie the Pooh I picked up before. I haven't got around to listing that yet. But this is another Winnie the Pooh from a charity shop. Uh, again, uh, it's an official Disney one, um, in a, a bear costume basically. Um, that one. From a charity shop, that was a that was a pound. Um, again, it's really hard to find the particular ones on eBay or, or what people are selling, but it's in great condition. Uh, but all of them for this size, this condition, tend to go for around about eight to twelve pounds. So, hopefully, get around about the ten pound mark for that. 
Um, again, I got another two Winnie the Poohs from a, from a different charity shop. So, well, uh, Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore. Again, they are official uh, Disney ones. They've still got the tags on. The tags are a little bit tatty, but like I said, they've still got the tags on. Um, they were a pound each again from a, a charity shop. So I'll put those two together. Hopefully get about £15, maybe a bit more for those two. Like I say, with the tags on. But again, I can't find anybody else selling exactly those tags. I don't know what type they are. Uh, like I said, I'll bundle those together and try and get some decent money out of those. Um, again, I've, I've bought some coarser, uh, some of the coarser teddies before. These are the smaller ones again, but still brand new with the tag on. Um, and I've managed to get three of these from the same lady. She said she'd sold two of the others before, basically. Um, it was a full set, which, which is a bit disappointing, but they were a pound each, and she'd one of them for 20p, so £1.20 for the three of them. I'll bundle those together, um, and yeah, probably hope to get about ten, fifteen pound again for those three. Uh, it would have been nice to get the set, but she said they sold two to a lady who was going to give them to a dog to chew up, which <laughs> which is really annoying. But like I say, still still not bad for the three of those together. Um, again, from a charity shop, um, some Adidas Predators. So I know these normally go quite well. Um, these are like I say, in pretty good condition. Metal studs on the bottom, UK size seven. Uh, any net Adidas Predators tend to go quite well. Um, again, these are the uh, that's that's the version of them basically. So if you can if you can see that, uh, but they like I say, not by condition. I'll, I'll give them a clean up, and they'll probably go for about fifteen pounds for those. So any Adidas Predators tend to tend to go pretty well. I've uh, got another pair of Adidas Predators from a, from a different charity shop. Uh, so that first pair were two pound. Um, these are two pounds. As well, um, again, Adidas Predators uh, red. Uh, they the different kind of studs at the bottom. Um, I can't find that exact model of, again, but we should get at least fifteen pounds for those. Some of the rarer ones can go up to two, three hundred pounds. So Adidas Predators are, are, are good and worth keeping up an eye out for. The UK size six a bit of a bit of a junior size, but again, you know, I'll give them a clean up. Good condition. I'll get at least fifteen pounds for those. Okay, uh, I got some VHS tapes, so blank VHSs. Um, not seen anyone sell, sell a pack of ten, but people selling packs of two and three and five for at least ten pounds for, for the five. So pack of ten there, I should get at least, again, ten, fifteen pounds, and they cost me uh, a pound. Um, so again, that's a really good buy. Obviously mint condition, I'll still sealed and brand new. Um, I picked up these dictaphones. I've never had anything like this before. I don't think they're worth a huge amount, but the woman was, at the end of the day, getting rid of everything. Um, it was 50p an item, she should make an offer, so I said, you know, I've got picked up both of these for 50 pence, basically, so 25p each. Uh, a Sony one uh, and a Sanyo one. Both work, I've, I've tried them both. Uh, they've got the tapes inside there as well, which is good. Um, like I say, I'm not sure what they're worth, but I'll, I'll at least make more money back. I could make a bit of money out of those two. Um, the original Namco... Um, light gun or I think that's PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 they work with um, again seems in good in good working condition that cost me 50 pence and they go for around about the 10 pound mark on their own um, again if you can pick up the media with them there's quite a few games that go with that that'll kind of jump up the price as well uh, a couple of board games so I've got a countdown I saw in someone's video that these are going quite well but I've had a look since I've got it I don't, I don't think they are so brilliant after all so um, I think that would have cost me about a pound and sort of normally pay for a board game. Nothing over one pound fifty really. Uh, but still it will probably get a seven or eight pound, maybe it's another one worth keeping for, for Christmas time. Um this this computer game, so it's just one of the fat boxes, one of the original PC fat boxes. Um, I opened it up when I was there and it's um basically it is Warhammer Dark Omen. Um obviously box with the manual and like that. So they go anywhere in the region of 10 to 15 pounds for that. Uh, like I say, in box in decent condition. Didn't realise I had equipment when I was there, picked it up, but when I got it home, it's got one, two, three, four other games inside the box, which I, which I didn't realise. So it's got um, a Nuclear Strike, they go for about five pounds. Uh, Dungeon Keeper, they go for about four or five pounds as well. Um, SimCity 2000, again, they can go for about four, five, six pounds. Uh, and a need for speed special edition. 
So all those are in the pack, which is which is pretty nice. And we all we've actually all got the manuals in there as well, so I can sell those. The disc manual, there's the SimCity manual, uh, Need for Speed manual, uh, Dungeon Keeper manual. So it's all in there, which is which is really nice. That's a bit of a bonus. That only cost me fifty pence as well. So the original game itself was probably worth a tenner, and then all the games together probably get at least twenty pound back. All those, that's a really nice find. Um, but, uh, game of Life. So the original, uh, that looks all in good condition as well, I had a quick look through that. They can go for uh, around about £10, pretty standard ball game price, but um, good ones of those can go up to £12, £13 on those, that's not a bad one to find. Um, and this is a bit of a bit of a bolo, I picked this up in a charity shop, I did have to have a look because I've not seen it before. Uh, it's a Murder She Wrote Murder Mystery Board Game. Um, inside is in absolute main condition as well, looks like it's only been played a few times. Um, so yeah, there you go. It's, like I say, it's all still in the uh, packaging, that kind of thing. The, the board is in mint condition. Like I say, it's all in, in brilliant condition. So I had a quick look, because um, I've not seen one of those before, to see if it's worth anything. That was from a, a charity shop. Um, you can see that, that cost me £2.25. Um, and they sell for, in the region, between £25 and £35 pounds they, they've been selling for. So I'm going to pitch myself at the top end of that, because there's only one other sale on eBay at the moment as well. And this is like I say in mint condition so I'm going to put that on for £35 and see if I can, I can sell it for that but it's a bit of a bolo for you, keep an eye out for Murder She Wrote the board game so they go really well. So there are my pickups, I'm going to switch the camera around now and uh, go through a few sales I've, I've had over the last few weeks or so as well.